What's going on YouTube? Zach Parks here. Thanks for tuning back in for another video. Sorry, it has been a couple of weeks um, since my last upload. Uh, I've been, you know, I was trying to do a good job and um, keep these videos coming like once a week, but I just, I just don't think that's realistically a schedule that I can keep up with anymore. Um, I have like just so much going on um, on a day-to-day -day basis. These videos do take a decent amount of time to film, edit, develop the film, all that good stuff. You know, it, it takes like a bit to put these together. So I, I think from here on out, my schedule is just going to be non-existent. I'm just going to, you know, work on it and uh, put videos out as I can. Um, and hopefully this is good for like you guys as well as me because uh, I think that'll give me more time, you know, to really just uh, focus on um, the quality of the videos and stuff instead of just, you know, feeling a need to pump them out all the time. Um, so, yeah, going to be a much more um, sporadic uploads uh, from here on out. Anyways, let's get going um, with today's video, which was a really fun one to make. Um, so much fun, in fact, that I didn't film um, nearly as much as I planned on. Um, nor did I take as many images as I thought I would that day. Uh, Hillary and I had a day off together. Um, we had both had a head cold for a few days, um, so we were going stir crazy, just being holed up in the house. We wanted to get out. So we woke up at 2.50 a.m., hopped in the car, and drove up to the Blue Ridge Parkway to see sunrise. We didn't really have a destination in mind, but we ended up going to Black Balsam Knob, which... If you've been watching the channel for a while or uh, following my work, you know Black Balsam Knob is kind of one of my go-to spots. It's just, uh, it's not much of a hike to get to the good scenery, you know, the good viewpoints and all that. So it's a good choice for a last minute trip, you know, just to see some pretty scenery and uh, look out over the Blue Ridge Mountains. And uh, yeah, glad that we did on this particular morning. Um, I gotta say, it was the most gorgeous sunrise I have ever seen, um, and that is not an exaggeration. This morning was ridiculous. Uh, so on the way up there, uh, I, I knew we were either gonna get lucky and have something extremely, extremely pretty, or it was gonna be a total bust and we were just gonna be like in the clouds. Um, so the whole ride up the parkway, we were pretty much in the clouds the entire um, ride up to Black Balsam. But luckily, right before we came around the corner to the mile marker for Black Balsam, um, going through Graveyard Fields, we came out of the clouds and it was pr not clear, but you know, we, we, we got above the clouds, which was great. We got a nice break in the coverage and um, sunrise was just phenomenal. Um, I, I've looked back at these images quite a few times now. Uh, it's been about two and a half weeks uh, since I actually shot these images and filmed the video and all that. But uh, yeah, we spent about an hour and a half or so just hanging out, watching the sunrise. Um, we hiked on the Art Lobe Trail just a little bit, um, not super far. Uh, made some images, shot some Portra 400. Um, shocker. We got back on the parkway and we just uh, drove um, heading towards Tennessee. I didn't film uh, pretty much <laughs> any of this. Uh, we were just having a good time, um, enjoying each other's company and um, enjoying the scenery. And uh, we ended up driving into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and made the decision to go check out Klingman's Dome for uh, the first time, which was super rad. Um, if you're not familiar, Klingman's Dome is the highest elevation point in the um, Smoky Mountain National Park. So it's just full on 360 degree views of the Smoky Mountains and it's phenomenal. On this particular day, as you will see, and as I mentioned, uh, it was very cloudy. So the, um, the views from the dome were, um, you know, we weren't looking down on the mountains as much as we were looking down on this just vast landscape of just, it was just clouds, man. So, so much clouds. It, it looked like we were looking, you know, over some like Alaskan landscape or something. It just looked like snow. Um, it was so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'll uh, quit talking now. We'll go ahead and roll the video so you guys can check that out and see the images. And um, then uh, I'll get back to you once we're done with that. So uh, here we go, guys. That was crazy. 
Good morning. Stop for coffee. You are so white right now on the camera. Like, <laughs> just like. <laughs> I'm working on my tan. Right. The highlights is blown. Okay, did I story It's like getting up and driving up here for sunrise is always. I mean, getting up at sunrise is always such a task, but pretty soon as the sun comes up, I'm like. Alright, never mind. <laughs> it was worth it. Glad I got my lazy ass up.
found some elk. It's turned into a Nat Geo video. I know, but. y'all so uh, there it was that was this week's video um, as you saw it was a gorgeous day as I had said um, I definitely looking forward to getting back up there doing some camping and stuff this summer um, I'd like to I'd like to try my hand at some astrophotography up there on film um, we'll see if I get a chance to do that or not. Um, I'll definitely make a video about that if I do. Before I wrap it up, I do wanna say those last few images that I made at Klingman's Dome. So I had a roll of Portra 160 VC um, expired, obviously uh, loaded up in the Mamiya. And um, I decided to throw this uh, City Bloom filter um, from Moment on and uh, just see I don't know, just see what happened. Uh, this is the 20% uh, Cine Bloom filter. Um, so they have the 10% and the 20%, um, with the 20% being the strongest. Uh, I recently picked this up. I've used it on a few rolls of film. I do really enjoy it. I have some pretty cool ideas for some, uh, so for some shoots uh, with the filter in particular. Um, I will try to get around eventually um, <laughs> to making a video about uh, shooting with the filter and everything like that. Yeah, so if you're wondering why those uh, final images just had that um, kind of slight cast to them and uh, that little bit of a glow, it's definitely the combination of the expired film and the 20% Cinebloom. But yeah, guys, um, thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And uh, please chime in down below and let me know just, uh, you know, what you thought of the photos, um, all that good stuff. Just say hey, say hello, tell me what you didn't like. I don't know. If you're new here, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel if that seems like something you'd be into. Uh, there's also a little uh, notification bell. You can hit that just to stay up to date on everything I'm doing over here, um, especially since the uploads are gonna be a little bit more sporadic from here on out. Uh, those notifications might come in handy for uh, you know knowing when I do make an upload. And if you're not already, you can head over to Instagram. Give me a follow there, at Zach Parks Photo. Lastly, I have a print shop over at the darkroom.tech. Uh, all the money made from those print sales just goes towards, you know, helping me buy film, helping me keep gas in the car, helping me keep the lights on here at home, all so that I can keep these videos coming out to you guys. Every purchase made through the shop, all that is always greatly appreciated. So uh, thank you so much to everyone for the support. And um, until next time, you guys just stay safe out there, keep shooting, try to take it easy, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Peace.